I'm at the library on a Sunday afternoon. Well, the thing is, I have to leave for the week. I've had a family emergency. I've got to get to Los Angeles. So I'm here prepping for a sub. I thought while I'm at it, I might share some tips or tricks, tips, some of my tips and tricks for helping you to get ready for a time that you have a family emergency or when you have to be on a way unexpectedly. So first of all, plan for the unexpected. Know that these things are gonna come up. The more prepared that you are, the easier that it's gonna be for you when you're in this position, when you're completely frazzled and not thinking clearly. So I have a substitute librarian binder that I prepared years ago. What's in here are emergency lesson plans. I've got my routines and my procedures so that a sub could literally walk in the door, open this, and see what needs to happen. Everything from turning on the lights to turning on the computers to turning on Fall at Destiny so that they can check out books. I've even got pictures of how Fall at works so that they could go ahead and see how to use our system. This is gonna be really, really handy on those days that I don't even have time to prep for a sub. Luckily today I do. The other thing that I've done is I've got a tremendous crew of volunteers who are ready to jump in. I've emailed them, I've let them know what's going on, and I've emailed my teachers so that they know what's going on. That way everyone's on the same page and I don't have to worry about kids walking in and not knowing that there's a sub. Um, so be prepared for the unexpected. That's my first tip for the day. The next thing that I had to do is go ahead and tweak my lesson plans. I had all sorts of great plans for the week. It's the third week of school, second week for kindergarten. For kindergarten, it's their first checkout. There's no way that I'm gonna have a substitute show them how to use shelf markers and that type of thing. So instead, I've changed my plans. I'm gonna do something different for them. Also, for my third to fifth graders, I was gonna continue with a lesson about how to find books in the library this week was going to be how to find nonfiction books. Again, that's too important. I want to make sure that that's something that I cover. So I've made some changes to those plans. So I'm going to take you along through the library and just kind of show you some of the things that I've done to make it easier for a sub so that I can rest easy that the library is running smoothly without me. All right, so come along with me into the story area. First things first, for kindergarten this week. Um, it's their second time to the library. We've done an orientation. It's their first time checking out books. Before they take these books home, I want them to understand how to take care of library books. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did a book talk about an adorable book called Read It, Don't Eat It. And I've been using that with my first and second graders to get the basics of book hair. It's kindergarten's time. So what we're gonna do is I prepared these cards um, where I, um, made some animals holding books doing different things so we want to read it don't eat it but then the other thing that I do is I've collected books over the years that have been damaged so for example I show them that sometimes dogs really do eat books and so you have to make sure that you keep your books away from pets we also take talk about keeping our books um, away from our baby brothers and sisters. So when we talk about this card, keeping it safe, we talk about finding a place in our home where we can put our books maybe up on the top shelf, where they're not gonna get mixed up with other books, but they'll be safe from pets and baby brothers and sisters and that type of thing. We also talk about using bookmarks with our books. I have special bookmarks for them to take today, or I guess for the whole week. And we talk about how this wolf is reading the three little pigs and he's using a bookmark, but this dog is dog earing this story. And we talk about what dog earing is that we don't wanna fold down the pages. I also talk with them about not using our books like tents to keep track because then the binding is gonna break and the pages are going to completely fall out. The other thing that I really stress to them is the importance of not getting our books wet. And I show them this book that was um, left out in the rain and was obviously completely destroyed. So um, I show them these so that they really do get an understanding of the importance of taking care of our books. I actually have a whole box here um, for this occasion. I don't pull all these books out, but when kids start asking me about different situations, I can show them that yes, 
Baby brothers and sisters do get a hold of books and sometimes they absolutely destroy them. So that is what I do for kindergarten. Now, when it's time for them to check out books, as I mentioned earlier, I don't want a sub teaching them how to use a shelf marker. I'm really, really particular about that, and I spend a long time teaching them how to do that. So instead, what we're going to do is I have set out books that are appropriate for kinders on tables. The kids are going to form a line, put their hands behind their backs, and they are going to take a walk around these tables where I've got pre-selected books ready to go. So once they take a, the whole line takes a walk through, I'm going to say, okay, now I want you to go stand next to a book that you'd be interested in checking out. And I remind them that sometimes we don't get what we get, but we don't get upset. And I have them put their hands on one of the books that they want and um, talk about, you know, if you don't get it this time, you'll probably get it the next time, so don't worry about it. And then um, if it looks like everybody's decided on a book, we start having them go up to the circulation desk where a volunteer will be waiting to check them out. So that's pretty easy for my kindergartners. Um, and then they can go sit down and back to the story area and look at their book until it's time to go. All right, so that's the plan for kindergarten. Now. For my first and second graders this week, we were going to be talking about library manners. They've already had an orientation. We've already done the lesson on taking care of books. And so now I just wanted to review my library rules. I should tell you guys that my library rules are pretty simple. I keep to three. We respect each other. We respect our books. And they help me to keep the library clean and organized. So if you think about that, that covers so much. Um, some of the sub rules, if you could call it that, would be we don't bring gum into the library. And that's part of respecting our books because we don't want gum to fall out into the pages. And we use our shelf markers. That's part of helping me to keep the library organized. So those basic three rules are the things that I emphasize in the library. But I needed to go ahead and have something that's, again, going to be really, really easy for my subs. So what we're going to do instead is use the book Library Lion. Um, you know what, I'll do a book talk on this one in a couple of weeks once I'm kind of back on my feet a little bit. It's adorable and perfect for talking about library rules. The only thing is, I'm not sure who my sub is going to be at least on Tuesday. And I'm not totally certain that whoever it is is going to be really great at reading books. So instead, in my plans, I'm leaving that they should watch, um, watch this on YouTube and I will leave the link to which one um, and then talk about r library rules. I think that that's going to be a lot easier. As I mentioned earlier, my third to fifth graders were going to have a lesson on non finding nonfiction books. Too complicated without me. So they're going to do the same thing. So Kindra's taken care of, first, second, and then third through fifth are all going to talk about library rules. My students are so sweet and well-mannered that they're going to be really, really good about this. And as I mentioned, my library volunteers are spectacular. Anyway, that's my plan for the week. I hope that maybe this has helped you for some time, that you have to have some emergency plans. Hope that it doesn't happen anytime soon. And that's it for now. I'm Mary Chapel from the Librarian's Literature Links. Thanks for joining me today.